Welcome to beginning your science research with the databases from Down at Grove Public Library. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the LRC page and that is the fastest way to get you right to Downers Grove. You're going to click on library catalogs and then bam right there. Alright when you get to this page you are going to click on research all databases. I have a couple that I would recommend to you. The first one is student resources in context. Another good one would be Gale, Gale Virtual Reference Library or General One File. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with student resources in context. When you get here, you're going to have to enter in the number that your teachers give you because these are paid databases, which means the public library is paying for us to have access to them. It also means they have a higher quality of information contained within them. Once you enter the number and you log in, you should see something similar to this. So my topic is solar flares. So I want to see what I can find on solar flares. I'm just going to type it into the search box. What I like about this is if you look over onto the side, it tells you there are 12 references, tells you there are over 3,000 news articles on this, and 1,400 magazine articles. These little triangles, and I'm sorry, these shapes also tell you how difficult the work is. So that's showing that that's advanced. This one's going to be intermediate. And if you see a green circle, that means it's going to be pretty basic information. So now I have to decide. Do I want to look at magazines? Do I want to look at newspapers? Or do I want to look at reference sources? I'm going to go ahead and start off looking at reference sources. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And here is my my text right here. Now, just like with all databases that we have access to, they will cite it for you. Yay! Super exciting. So just go up to Citation Tools and you are going to select APA. And then all you're going to do is copy this. Once you copy this, you can just go ahead and paste this then into your Works Cited pages and you're done. Now let's take a look at general one file and see the differences. So here it looks a little bit different than the other one. You can still do a basic search up top. And let's say I want to look at blizzards right now. And I happen to know that there was a really awful blizzard in 1889. Now here you want to make sure that you click full text documents because you really only want to get the entire article, not just a citation for it or an annotation. So once again, this is showing you what are the academic journals, books, news, videos. And this is talking about Blizzard. So let's take a look. No one was prepared. No one on the prairie was prepared for the violent storm. So this is another, looks like a good possible source to get some information. Once again, just go to Citation Tools. Click on... APA and all you have to do then is copy and paste this into your works cited page. Pretty much when you're doing research you just need to play around. See what search terms work for you, what doesn't, and you never know what you're gonna get. Have fun!